can see my first guest in The People versus Larry Flint. He also anchors the weekend update each week on Saturday Night Live. Please welcome our buddy and our pal, Norm McDonald. Oh. What? Very nice to see you. Oh, it's great to be here, man. Uh, how are you? I'm good. I'm all right. I'm yeah. all right. Yeah? yeah. You're, you're enjoying life? Yeah. You like doing that. You call it the fake news. Yeah. You like doing I that. I like doing that because I always can keep up with the news, you know? And, uh, <laughs> I, uh, and also, before I start with my jokes, <laughs> I just want to say, like, I said, uh, I said a thing on last show about Andy enjoying gay porn. Right, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, re I remember you saying that. Yeah. And, I, and I thought later, that was a, just a stupid thing to do. <laughs> well, I guess it was all forgotten until you just brought it up. So, uh, he doesn't like gay porn, you know? He doesn't like gay porn. So anyway. I can't stand gay porn. <laughs> right. uh, gay porn, no thanks. <laughs> so if you're getting me a birthday present, no gay porn. <laughs> Just I'm glad it, it's, you know, you know that's great because it really yeah. cleared the air. Yeah. Okay, so I wanted to talk about but the news, you know, that's going on nowadays. Yeah, the news, uh, uh, the news. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All kinds of things going on. Uh, there's uh -huh. the Dick Morris is getting a new show. Did you hear about that? Dick Morris, the presidential advisor yeah. in the in the scandal. Yeah. Right. Didn't you hear that he, now he's getting a show? He's there like. Can you believe the guy actually getting a show on the TV? That's amazing. Yeah. And it's a morning show. It's called Good Morning Whores. <laughs> I'd watch that. Uh, I'd watch that in a second. And uh, what else? Uh -huh. The Mad Chopper. Have you heard about that oh, guy? Oh, everyone's heard about the Mad Chopper. He's the Mad Chopper. They let him out, and then he, of course, what's he going to do? He's the Mad Chopper. <laughs> he starts chopping people up, you know what I mean? Uh -huh, yeah. So then they should never let a guy out with that nickname. <laughs> you know uh -huh. He doesn't like, have that nickname, and then they're, they're always in the paper, they try to make a story like there's two sides to it, you know, mm -hmm. because they interview different people, mm -hmm. and one guy goes, oh, you know, he was a nice guy, he gave me a, a, a birthday cake once, and one time he helped me, you know, fix my, uh, uh, you know, uh, stereo, you know, and then they, they interview another guy, and he goes, yeah, that guy chopped me up, you know? <laughs> so they go, there were two sides to the mad chopper, you know? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's crazy. Yeah. And then there's yeah, this other right. story about the incubus. You know about this? This uh, It's a sneaker or something? It's what? a woman's shoe. It's a shoe for women. Mm -hmm. And it's called the incubus. Mm -hmm. And then it turns out that the incubus is this guy from way back in the old days. He's a medieval demon that, uh, like, has, uh, uh, what do you call it, like, unconsensual sex with women in their sleep. R really? And he was like, he was a mytho mythological character. Yeah, he didn't really exist, but still, he was a bad, bad <laughs> demon. Uh-huh. And then they go and name the shoe that, you know? <laughs> that's uh -huh. You shouldn't name a shoe that. Uh-huh. Hey, no, that's bad. That's crazy. Uh-huh. <laughs> so that's your take on it, that they shouldn't name a shoe. I got you. I know. I know. <laughs> You're right. It worked fine. Uh, yeah. What about? Uh, I understand you uh, Lent. You take Lent pretty seriously. The the, the Catholic holiday of Lent. Is yes. that the case? Well, I, you have to give up stuff on Lent. So every oh, yeah. year on Lent, I give up stuff, and I made up a list. You know? Oh, really? Of stuff that I gave up. Uh huh. So I have it here in my pocket. Can oh. I read it? I would love to hear what Norm gave up for Lent. Yeah. yeah. Why not? I don't have it in my pocket. You don't have it? Oh, here it is. It's in this pocket. <laughs> Okay. Yes, this is a list of things that I gave up for Lent. Okay, uh -huh. ready? I gave up uh, power lifting. <laughs> All right, out. Yeah, I didn't want to do that anymore. <laughs> and then I gave up uh, uh, lifting of any kind. <laughs> okay, that's good. And then I gave up uh, I gave up uh, dressing up like an incubus. Now that people know what it is, you know. <laughs> Not gonna do that. No. And then I gave up. Uh, this is a, this is a good. This isn't a good one. I gave up feeding my cat. <laughs> you got to break that habit. Yeah, that's not good. Lent's a good time to do that. So that's oh, and then I spent, I gave up spending thousands of dollars trying to methodically seduce Andy's wife. <laughs> no more of that, huh? Yeah. All right, that's very nice. Good for you. What a relief. <laughs>
Plus, oh, it gets God. in the idea that Andy has a wife. <laughs> Andy has a wife. Oh, he does. I know. I have a wife. I know. I know. And no, he has a great I, wife. I don't like it. No, he has an excellent wife. Don't like it. Well, Not okay. For me. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a quick break, and then we're all gonna confer with our lawyers, <laughs> and then uh, we're gonna come back, and we'll have uh, more with Norm Macdonald in just a second. We'll see. everybody stop comparing notes on gay porn all right no we were actually talking about uh, uh the sports illustrated the uh swimsuit issue oh yeah yeah you guys like that issue no yeah. i love it <laughs> Andy it's said, fun to Andy play said it's his least favorite sports <laughs> illustrated oh, shut up <laughs> he says yeah. he can't uh, well, <laughs> never mind i'm gonna say something Andy, you don't, it's like quicksand. If you I, struggle, I it gets know, worse. I know, I know. You just, just gotta sit very still and it'll go say away. Say something bad. Uh, so, uh, you, you got a week off. Uh, yeah, I got a, a week off coming up. After this show, I got a week off, so it's gonna be great. Do you, uh, do, you, do, you, do you see your family much? Uh, do you... Every every break, I like to go back and see my, my, my folks, you know, and also mm -hmm. my uncles and aunts and all that, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, they're great people. The old people, you know, what I find about the old people is... <laughs> Just in general. In general, they had so much more interesting lives than we do, you know? Like, you know what I mean? Like, we, you know, we, we, we go out, our generation, we go, okay, hey, let's go to a movie, and then we'll do the laundry and get some quarters for the laundry, and then we'll have a, read the Sports Illustrated, you know, and whatever, right? Right, right. right. And, but these guys, they had lives, you know? Were they, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> sure. Yeah. So anyways, for instance... <laughs> My Uncle Phil. You ever meet my Uncle Phil? I didn't meet your Uncle Phil, no. Oh, you didn't? He was... Yeah, we don't know each other that well. That's true. <laughs> Remember? That's true. Uh, no, so, I, I've not met your Uncle Phil. He's a good man, Uncle Phil. So he uh, he was telling me, you know, he's just one of these guys that has so many lives pushed into one. He just does so many things, you know? Mm -hmm. And he was telling me, he says, he's a kind of a jack of all trades, you'd call him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good phrase. <laughs> yeah, he's a jack of all trades. So he was telling me, he said, the problem is you're not really appreciated for any single thing because you're so good at so many things. You understand mm -hmm. what I mean? I hear you. Yeah. So he says, he said to me one time, he says, Norm, he says, we we're just walking through his, home, his town, you know, mm -hmm. of uh, uh, Monkland, Maine, he lives in. Uh -huh. And uh, we were just walking through the town. He's an old fella, you know? Right, one of the old people. Yeah, he's 80. Yeah, 80, he, okay. 80 years young, he says. Uh huh. <laughs> so he goes, uh, he goes, uh, he goes, Norm, you see that barn over there, he says to me. I look over, there's a barn. I go, yeah, yeah. He goes, I built that barn with my own hands all by myself. Oh. But he goes, do they call me? Do they say there's Phil the barn builder? No, sir, he says. I said, yeah, yeah. He goes, look over there. You see that uh, weather balloon? <laughs> he, says, yeah. he, says, <laughs> he says, I, he says, I, you don't know this about me, Norm. He says, I was one of the first men ever to fly in a weather balloon. Wow. He says, but do they say, hey, there goes Phil the weather balloon pioneer? No. <laughs> He says, look over there, there, there's a bakery that I started, you know, that mm -hmm. dirty bastard Bob has it now, but I'm the guy that started that bakery. Uh -huh. And I go, all right, all right, easy. <laughs> and he goes, he goes, he goes, I started that bakery and I was the best baker, but does anybody go, oh, there goes Phil, the great baker. No, he says, but he says, let me tell you something, Norm. He says, you have sex with one goat. And... <laughs> He says, people then, they say, there goes Bill, the dirty goat. <laughs> <laughs> Get rid of that. We don't need that microphone anymore, do we? Wow, well, I do want to meet this man someday. He sounds fascinating. We got to talk about this. <laughs> Saturday Night Live this Saturday. You got your Alec Baldwin. Yeah, he's going to be great. He's the greatest host. He's a, he was a great host yeah. when I was there years ago. Yeah. Musical guest Tina Turner. I wanted to ask you if I could do your thing that you wrote about the perfect murder. You remember that sketch that you wrote when you were there? Yeah, I wrote, it wasn't just me. It was a couple of us we wrote a sketch. Did you ever do that? Yeah. 
I think they tried it at dress once and it bombed. <laughs> okay. But go ahead. Okay, right, right, right. <laughs> Have fun with that sketch. Okay. Uh, I should ask you that in the commercial. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's let them in and see what our lives are like. Uh, Alec Baldwin, Tina Turner, and special appearance by Howard Stern. Yeah, that's going to be cool. How about Stern, huh? That's going to be oh, fun. Yeah. That's a big show. Yeah. Uh, so have fun with that. Have fun with that program. Okay, man. You enjoy, and uh, come on. <laughs> what, are we, what are we, buddy cops now? Yeah. Uh, all right, uh, but, uh, and come by anytime and tell us about your family. Yeah, that'd be Anytime you want. Them older folk. All right, Norm, okay, thank you man, very thanks. much. Norm McDonald, everybody. <laughs> Christopher Gass is coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.